It's a bit yeah. keen to get your take on this. I remember what the man Jordan said about this. Mm. Now, the World Cup, of course, is going to be in the US. But awesome. US, I know, and Darry, because you spend a lot of your life out yeah. there, I know you're delighted about that. Yep. But US World Cup organisers have declared publicly that mm. they would, quote, die for the opportunity to host a competitive Premier League match stateside. This is something, is something Alex, will happen. that comes up all the time. Now, you're straight in there, Dar. Uh, will happen. You're saying it will happen. What are we I talking really about? Hope not. What are we talking about, though, Dar? Are we talking about, I don't know, Burnley against uh, Tottenham? Are we talking about Liverpool against Manchester United? I, I, I like it. Well, are we talking about to, Manchester City against Liverpool? To start with, it would be the first game you said type of thing, and then it will end with, you'll have two or three a year, I'd imagine, and one of them it would be a, probably even a, a massive game. Now, look, if somebody had said to the NFL 10 years ago, 15 years ago, you're going to end up having multiple games at Wembley, multiple games at Tottenham's home ground, multiple games in Germany, Mexico, around the world, and bringing the brand, people would have gone, no way. Now right. you've got places like the Jaguars who'd love to be the London franchise, who'd like to play more games over here. Look, what does this all come down to, Jimbo? You know when you get on that horse and trot around the studio and worried about money? This all <laughs> comes down to, yeah, money talks and BS walks. And in the end of the day, and people will hate me for saying this, there'll be enough money thrown at it, and the Premier League will have a game in America. You're it's saying gonna that happen. categorically Absolutely it's going to happen? Absolutely Okay, happen. the man who's normally in this studio, uh, the man Simon Jordan, said this a short time on this subject. Liverpool versus Man United, would you take the Anfield leg of that? Would you take the irresistible Anfield leg that people turn around and say can make a team win or lose in front of that fa fa famous Anfield crowd? Would you take that one, or would you take the Old Trafford version of it? Would you then say that other games in, this, in the season are, are jeopardised by the nature of commercial and competitive integrity being taken out of the principle of English football because one game is being played in front of a very different audience than another? You've got a raft of challenges with this. It's rough. You're not going to go over there. If Burnley, if Burnley get promoted next season, you're not going to go and see Burnley, but Bournemouth are still in the Premier League, Burnley versus Bournemouth in America, you're going to see Man United versus Liverpool. Yeah. You're going to see the cornerstone marquee games of our English football being imported over to America. Why in God's name would we want to do because that? Because it's a global product. And it's got a global audience via television deals. So why do we so need to... is that as good as it gets so you take for a, the Manchester so, United fan living in New York? Yes, because you take competitive the, the competitive jeopardy that you do by taking a game out of its competitive out of its natural environment and saying again we we listen to Gary Neville and all those guys saying these sort of results they can happen the players can can wilt at Anfield they can happen so that's gone now is it that advantage is gone so who so how do you pick it then so which which, which team would be happy with well, giving up its home game there you go Simon's that's, taking that's, it God you miss him don't you so, no of course I do so let me put it another way to you does it have to be a league game. Could it be an FA Cup game? Could it be a League Cup game? Now, hang on. I'm not now, insane now, it at all. I, I know you're not, but let me put it another way to you. If you get your new shake in, he buys Man United, and he decides he's going to build your new stadium, and United have to play games somewhere else. Hang don't, on for the next three years. Stadium. Just no, no, redevelop no, no, no. Old but, Trafford. But, but, but let's say they redevelop and you can't play while they're doing it because it's such a, an old heap or whatever else. Let's say, as you've said previously. So let's turn around and say United have to cr uh, ground share somewhere. Is that the perfect opportunity? to have a United big game in America. Now, look, I'm not endorsing it. I'm not saying Sounds it should like happen. It. No, I'm not. You're saying categorically no, no, it's going to happen. But that's different from me endorsing and saying it's Do a good idea. you want it to happen? No, I don't want to see Liverpool play Everton in America. I don't want to see games like that. Look, I'm happy with my package watching all the games from my couch in Florida. I don't need them coming out there and playing there. If they do, great, I'll buy a ticket. What well, I'm trying to tell you, you asked me a question, all right? Uh, soccer, as we call it in America. Don't in America, do that. My, my kids don't are yanks. I'm joking. Yeah. I'm winding you up. <laughs> yeah. Listen, is now the number four sport in America. Apple paid $3 billion so, for the MLS and are already about to make a profit with a million plus subscribers. It is exploding. But 26 27, more money will be going into football in this industry. I'm telling you, the Premier League, you know they love a dollar. The whole idea. You know they love a dollar. The whole idea It'll happen. turns my stomach. This is not the NFL. This is not a circus. It's It'll not happen. a road show to be picked up and dropped off wherever they like. They already earn hundreds <laughs> of millions from overseas television <laughs> yeah. revenue. They don't need any more money. I think football fans, they showed you. their power when it came you. to the Super League oh, uh, and they would uprise oh my again. God. This cannot happen. This is hysteria. This is nothing to do with the stupid Super League fiasco crap. This is cannot happen. This is the brand of the Premier League, and I hate let, that let word brand. When did football uh, become a brand? Hang on a second. Let me tell you right now. If that led to them giving us a little bit more crumbs off their table into the EFL, 
to allow our clubs to improve our facilities, Which they cheapen won't. our prices, do whatever else, and it was all about them getting an extra game in America, I'd be flying them all over there. Because we in the EFL will take every crumb we can get. English is football it, is about history and heritage and tradition. <laughs> and that's wonderful. <laughs> yeah. But Alex, that's, but that's, get Alex you know who owns these clubs. How many Americans the fans now own it. Premier League the fans, clubs? The fans won't have it. There'll be protests outside stadiums like we saw with the Super I League. smell it, another it back happen. coming on. It will not happen. I, I mean, Phil, Phil Murphy is the governor of New Jersey. and uh, He secured the MetLife game, uh, the MetLife Stadium to be one of the 16 grounds to host the World Cup games when they head to the US in 2026. Uh, he was in amongst them. Uh, at the weekend there, Manchester United played Arsenal in front of more than 82,000 at the MetLife. The atmosphere you, you was, like him. The atmosphere was dull. Lover. Is he? Yeah. Uh, but he says, I say unequivocally, we would die to have a competitive Premier League would. match anywhere in America. We'd die for it. It, stick, stick it, it, it might be game. a charity shield or a community shield. It might be a cup, whatever. Book these games are going to happen. What's wrong with there? the Community Shield? There's a good shout from Dara. Yeah. Play the damn Community Shield. The community there. Shield should be played at Wembley. Why? It's the curtain raise of the stadium. Oh, it's the curtain raise the Or the League Cup final. At Wembley. <laughs> yeah. The cur- Does anybody really care about the Community Shield? I think the fans do, yeah. Who won it last year? Liverpool. Well done, Alex. Um, Great I, performance. I mean, that's good a, as a that's, that not, that's maybe as good as it's going to get. Play, play a game like the Community Shield. Play... A, a, I don't know a Carabao Cup I, match I crack up as I watch you two getting so upset about this the reason I don't waste energy getting upset is because I know it's an inevitability <laughs> see this is it it's going to happen I, dis- I disagree it's going to happen the, fa- the fans Spine won't though? tolerate it I, I'm sorry I forgot what Competi- you said already I, I know <laughs> <laughs> it's eminently forgettable competitive disadvantage you know? Compe- would you play the Anfield leg of it's Liverpool a City point. it's a or brilliant you, point or, or, it, it's a great point it's an irrelevant point because you're going to have half of the American fans for Liverpool, half will be for United anyway. So uh, uh, competitive-wise, in the NFL, teams go over. They know they're in a cycle. Every four years, you're going to have to go to London. They live with it because they get an extra £100 million a year from the rights in Europe. That £100 million gets to give them more players they can sign. Let's round this off then. Dara, you think... Yes, I don't this, agree, uh, you but might I agree, think it's going to but happen. you think this is going to happen? A All competitive Premier League game... Uh, Every Involving two of the big guns yeah. will be played in the US yeah. on an annual basis? Yes. Why are you shocked? Wowzer. Okay. <laughs> Darren McAntony. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.